So yesterday I came out with a video where I said that I wanted to change my program. And I've thought it over a lot, and I've been thinking about what I want to change about it. So I want to go into more detail about it. Um, and just talk about where my program succeeds, where it fails, where it comes up short, everything in between. So I actually really like the progression so far. I mean, it isn't that far in to really know too much about the progression. But I can infer a couple of things. One, my deadlift feels amazing. Might just be because it was paused at below what I should have been doing. Uh, I was doing it at 90% when apparently you're supposed to be doing it around 94, 95. But that being said, I feel good to go. I adjusted it just uh, earlier this week on the deload and it still feels good to go. I feel ready for that. So I am very excited and I think my deadlift has improved or at least my form has gotten better to the point where I'm probably able to hit the weight that I failed in the competition. So deadlift is good. Deadlift's a, deadlift's a really big check mark. Squat. Squat is going okay. I think that the PR that I hit in my competition was a very tough PR. And I don't think there was some extra room or extra strength uh, that I had on top of it. I don't. I think that was fully my max out, or if not, it was within five pounds, right? And well within it. I'm talking maybe an extra pound or two. Not enough to get 455. I don't believe so. So how do I improve, right? It's just practice, practice, practice. The volume work I find is actually working, but only slightly. Now, why is that? Let's talk about that. So there's two parts of the squat. Uh, the, there's the legs and then there's the back. I find that my legs are getting a lot of work from squatting. I do believe that my quads are um, getting stronger. So that is not the issue. I do believe my back is lagging behind, mostly because the only real volume it's getting is from squats and deadlifts. I mean, of course, you get a little bit of work from bench, but it's not really anything more than stability. So just for that consideration, I do believe that my squat is overall getting better, but it's going to hit the weak point of the back fairly soon. It is going to hit that, and that is going to be an issue that I'm going to have to deal with soon. So not as big of a check mark there, but somewhat of a check mark. Let's put it like a half check mark in your mind. Now moving on to the bench. The bench, I hit a crazy PR. I genuinely think I shouldn't have hit that weight. I genuinely think it was too much for me to hit. And that was a conservative PR. I thought I had another five pounds in me on the day of. And well, before that lift, let's just say. And after the lift, I knew I had zero pounds in me. In fact, I probably had negative three pounds in me. I genuinely don't know how I got that up. Seriously. And I, I say that with like full honesty. I don't know how it was called white. It should have been three reds fully, or at least two. But I was lucky enough. Did get two whites, and I was good to go. So that is the upper range. Now, of course, I did use that number. So the issue with my bench right now might be that I'm not able to match it, which isn't that big of a deal, in my opinion. But that's not the only issue. Last week, when I did my bench, I had a top set of 255 for a single and a back down of 245 for a double. All right? Now, I'll tell you, before my competition, I was doing singles and doubles around that weight already, leading up to my competition right? Uh, of course, my volume was a lot lower overall. Like I'm talking overall volume, a lot lower, especially when I got to that high weight and my rest was a lot higher. So that is something to take into account, but it was still the second exercise. So I was still fatigued from the first exercise. So I don't know what the relation would be there. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it felt very different than it did then. All right. And I'm talking big difference. I'm talking, it felt like a PR weight. 255 felt like 270 did. Okay. And that is not what I want to be feeling. That is not great at all. And the question is, why? And I look back at my training and I see what I used to do. Right. I'll go ahead and tell you fairly quickly here. My squat and deadlift, I did about six sets a week of direct work. And my bench, I did about 12 sets a week of direct work. I did four sets a day, uh, sorry, three sets a day, uh, 
four days a week. And additionally, I did, I think, three sets of dips per week. Uh, and that's not in the peak, that's outside the peak. But for everything there, that's about 15 sets of bench compared to right now, I'm doing 20 sets of everything. So 20 sets squats, 20 sets bench, 20 sets deadlift. Now, again, massive increases in the deadlift and bench. Not that big in a, sorry, excuse me, deadlift and squat, not that big in a bench, right? Five pound, five set increase. I mean, it is something, but it's definitely not everything. It's not a big increase whatsoever. So the question is, is it really helping me, right? Or is it actually too much volume? That's another question. The other issue is, what about uh, other body parts? So I'll give you an example here. We know that for my squat, my back is probably going to be lagging behind at some point. We also know that for my deadlift, my deadlift is working really well because most of the muscles that are trained in the deadlift are either directly trained in the deadlift or are being trained in one of the other movements that I'm doing. So give an example, my deadlift's doing really well because my quads are getting trained in my squat. My back's getting trained there in my deadlift. My hips are getting trained in my deadlift and my squat, right? Everything correlates to a squat for the most part, right? But for a bench, that's not how it works, right? Your, your triceps have no work in a, in a squat. They have no work in a deadlift, but they have a ton of work in a bench press. Same thing with your chest, same thing with your shoulders. Your back has a little bit of support in your bench, and of course, it has a lot bigger moment in your squat and deadlift. So there is some carryover there, but for everything else, there's practically no involvement from the squat or deadlift. And that rises the question, am I just not getting enough volume in for my upper body? right? I mean, I am getting 20 sets of bench in, true, but I'm getting zero sets of accessories for my bench, for my chest, zero accessories for my shoulders, zero accessories for my triceps, zero accessories for my bicep, forearms, uh, back, all things that I know can potentially help a bench press, right? Now, of course, not directly in the same order that I said, of course, probably having a really big back affects a lot more than having really big forearms, right? But I know for a fact that having strong forearms is eventually going to help in your pushing power because it's going to enable you to push more weight. That's the, all it comes down to. So the question is, what do I focus on? Do I focus on increasing the number of sets for my bench still? Or do I actually decide to back off if not to half of what I'm doing and add in more accessory work for my upper body. And I think that's the answer. I think I'd back off on my bench work. Now, then rises the question, how much do I do? Right? How much do I do to keep it consistent, to keep it going? I think I could keep the RPE progression the same as the rest of my program, and that should be fine for the most part. I think that Decreasing the number of sets to below 10 might be very beneficial, especially in letting my chest overall recover and hopefully grow a little bit. That being said, I could also add in a lot of accessories. I'm not thinking about adding in chest accessories. I think my chest is sufficiently strong by itself. I think my triceps could use a lot of work. I use, think my biceps could use a lot of work. I think my shoulders could use a lot of work. I'm thinking of adding in, instead of replacing my one of my bench days fully with an incline bench and it doesn't have to be dumbbell but just incline helps the shoulders helps the triceps a little bit more than a and also upper chest than a, a normal bench would which is really important i am thinking about adding in direct accessory work for my triceps of course adding in more back work overall more back work is almost going to always guarantee a stronger bench deadlift or squat no matter what you do in, at least from the way I see it. So that's, I think, the idea I'm kind of leaning towards. And I don't really have an idea other than that right now. So I'll talk about very quickly what I'm thinking about, but I will end up live streaming me making the new program at some point, probably this weekend. The idea is that I cut my bench to once a week and I cut the number of sets to five sets. All right. Now, that doesn't mean I only do five sets of chest work a week. I will be doing some incline chest, and that will replace the other set, and that will be five sets as well. 
other than that, I have a shoulder press and I have a, um, I have accessories. So I would add in some lateral raises, some rear delts, some back work, a lot of back work. That's one of the bigger things I'm adding in. Uh, I, I've been doing rows for the last week or so, but I'm going to be adding in rows. I'm going to do the cable rows as well because I think the row movement is just the more beneficial one at this point. Maybe a lat pull down once a week would be okay. Um, some direct bicep and tricep work, which is, I think, really important. And I'm talking about, uh, I'm not exactly sure which ones to do, to be completely honest. But I'm thinking either a close grip would actually be pretty beneficial because then we're doing it. We're kind of also benching, doing a bench movement four times a week still. So you're getting a little bit of benefit there, I guess. Um, or I could do just a direct push down, which might also get a lot of work. Anyways, this video has gone on pretty long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that's my general thought process. Just to diversify the upper body, I don't think the lower body needs that much diversity right now. I think it's doing pretty damn well. And eventually, I will be able to change the program if I really want to. But upper body definitely needs some diversity. I'm going to be implementing this soon, putting on a live stream. Uh, anyways, see you guys in the next one. Peace.